This is my design. I don't know why to snap like that, but this is my design for the Hannibal Buffer Freud response video. It's gonna be a little long, uh, so heads up for that one. But oh my gosh, this was amazing! I love this episode. I shouldn't be whispering, but oh my god, it's now officially two in the morning. It's two up, two to be precise, and I'm in an apartment building. I don't want to freak anyone out as I freak out. So I'm just gonna whisper and move back around, and I shouldn't totally do this standing, but. Oh my gosh, I loved this. I mean, I am just in awe. I cannot wait to own this entire show on DVD so I could just marathon its glory back to back to back to back because I have an addiction. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, amazing episode. Last week, I was like, woo, Hanagram, Hannibal, and Will. This week, I'm like, whoa, you take a step back. Obviously, Hannibal's intentions are far from normal, and he is obviously a very messed up individual because he's hating people. That is beside the point. And Hannibal is the antagonist of all antagonists. I was not a huge Hannibal Lecter fan. I didn't even care for any of it. It just was not my thing when Hannibal Lecter and Sons of Lambs, all those movies were a thing back when I was in high school, freshman in 2008, 2000, 2008, yeah, when like Sons of Lambs and that lovely phase was going on in society. It just wasn't my thing. This show made me into this thing. And I did Red Dragon in my thesis paper and I got an A minus in that class. So fuck yeah, Thomas Harris, I love you and Hannibal and all of that. Anyway, anyway, about this episode. Obviously, Hannibal is not the sanest of men because he cuts up people and he eats them and he feeds them to other people and he's a messed up individual. And he's messing with Will Graham and everyone in the fandom loves Will Graham and it just it hurts to see Will so messed up. Discussing Jack breaking rules from Miriam Lass and now Will. But you have me curious, why are you still here when the both of, both, when the both of us know this is bad for you? Do you want me to quit? No, no, you had an opportunity to quit. You didn't take it. Why not? Let me tell you what I think. I think the work you do here is create a sense of stability for you. Stability is good for you, Will. Stability requires a strong foundation, Jack. My mourn mornings are my moorings are built on sand. I'm not sand. I'm bedrock. When you doubt yourself, you don't have to doubt me, too. I am so happy they are fixing Jack and Will's friendship. I don't remember what I said exactly last week, but I am so happy that they are fixing Jack and Will's friendship. Because I want that friendship. Is, even though Jack is using Will, it is also an understanding that he's using him because he knows that there is no one else to do what Will does but Will. And he and Will would rather risk his own sanity to save other people's lives than not do anything at all. So he's doing it by choice. But Hannibal's messing with Will because Hannibal's Hannibal and he's a, a villain and etc. But yeah, I sorry I keep on moving back and forth. But uh, Will talking about Beth LeBue's murder. I can't remember seeing the crime scene before I saw myself killing her. This is the scene when he's talking to Hannibal in the office, and I loved this scene. I just love this entire episode. Those memories sank out of sight, Hannibal said. Will be part of Will. There is grandiosity to the violence that I, imag that I imagine that, that feels more real than what I know is true. Hannibal replies with, what do you know to be true? Will replies, I don't know. I, did. I know I didn't kill her. I couldn't have. But I remember cutting into her. I remember watching her die. You must overcome the delusions that are disguised in your reality. <sighs> God, that entire little moment. That entire scene. At Will's brain. And he's it's inflammation. And it has that thing that I really can't pronounce with an E. Give me a second. Oh, God. Why can't I get this word? It's... Um, Will Grant. Sorry, it's it's a word that I can't even write I'm even going to bother embarrassing myself and saying it right now. But oh, Will, Will, baby, your brain is all kinds of fucked up, and Hannibal got the doctor to lie to you, you dick. I mean, obviously he's not a nice person, but ow, just ow. And Will doesn't know. It just he doesn't know, and this hurts. Like I know this quote. I'm next. I'm gonna read that one out. I just slowly become aware that I might I may might not be dreaming. Dr. Lecter's one of the sanest men I know. Oh you neurologist, you lying son of a bitch. Side note, when Will was discussing his brain on fear, I nearly had a fucking spouse attack because I used this specific quote in my paper and I'm not gonna say the page because I'm not gonna be able to go grab that out of my paper, but Grant it's from chapter two of Red Dragon. Graham stared at the stared started at the noise, felt the trickle felt the trickle of fear. He must he was an old hand at fear. He could manage this one. He simply was afraid he could go on anyway. He could not see and he could see and hear better afraid. He could not speak as consciously and fear sometimes made him rude. Hence why he was a dick jack afterwards. And all of that. When Will was cutting into the fish in his brain and then it wasn't really the fish. It was the body of, uh, there's the body, it was the body of tonight's victim. It was body of tonight's victim whose name we don't actually, Beth Labute. Yeah, about Beth LeBue's murderer. Beth LeBue's murderer was all kinds of messed up, and she was under Will's bed, and that was just 
an amazing, creepy, awesome scene. It's just all of this episode. Everything's coming together. Do me a favor and publish it. Poshmarius. Nope, not even gonna bother with that one. I'm gonna quote this one. After your death or mine, whichever comes first. She can't see faces. If she did kill Beth LeBeau, she might not even know she did it. I got lost in the reconstruction. I'm sorry, I'm not just spewing quotes out. This is getting a little longer, but. <sighs> How far will this go? Do you want. Do you put out the fire or do you let him burn? Will is my friend. We will put out the fire when it is necessary. It is a lie, Hannibal. You will not let Will put out the fire. You're gonna hurt him. It's not gonna go well. We both know the unreality of taking a life. People who die when we have no other choice. We know in those moments they are not flesh, but light and air and color. <sighs> this entire episode was superb. I love that he called Beverly. I am scared shitless for next week because freaking Eddie Izzard's character's out from the asylum. I thought it's gonna be awesome, but Eddie Izzard's character's out from the asylum and Alana is totally fucked and I'm scared because I know Will's dogs are gonna get injured and it just what? Yeah, um, I'm all, I, I don't know they're gonna get injured, but it feels like they're gonna get injured. It just seems that way. <sighs> have I broken you? Do you have anyone that does this better unbroken than I? Uh, unbroken than I do broken. And that's where I'm going to leave this. Because this is my design. <laughs> Bye.